Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to London. Welcome to the East End of London. Brick Lane. It's Sunday, busiest day down here. Market, popular market. Show you some of the, uh, the key uh, the key parts of uh, Brick Lane that make it a destination. Starting right here with the bagel shops, 24 hour bagel shops. Tell you which one's best, the one with the shortest queue. They're so similar. It's really a legacy of uh, Brick Lane's past. Um, originally, this was always a well, for a long time, it was a poor part of town, um, so perfect for immigrants. Um, for a long time, uh, Jews persecuted France came here. Um, so there was a large Jewish community, hence the uh, salt beef bagels. Um, then, as their fortunes changed, um, they were replaced by um, a lot of Bengalis. Um, and at the time, this was uh, home of London's rag trade. We're making a lot of clothing here, I think in the 50s and 60s. So, um, yeah, a lot of people were. Uh, works in the clothing industry. There's still some remnants of that here, but don't make any clothes here hardly anymore. So uh, that's all gone. But um, one thing the, uh, the Bengalis and Indians left behind was uh, some great Indian restaurants. Check those out in a minute. Every Sunday there's a market here, hugely popular, fantastic street food. I came here for lunch. That's for another film that you'll see later. Um, it's hard to eat and go live. Right, yeah, this is live, so usual uh, disclaimer. It'll be a little bit shaky, might cut out in places, but um, that's the price of going live. It's just a little bit behind the scenes you'll get to see um, of me making another movie. I'm actually heading back to the station, to Liverpool Street Station, so I thought I'd share that with you. Because we'll, to do that, we'll pretty much cover the whole of Brick Lane um, and um, some of Spitalfield as well, if the stream lasts that long. Pearly Kings and Queens. We're getting into the street food uh, section of the market here. You see some of the uh, some of the clothing stores left over from when this was a uh, real uh, mecca for uh, clothing manufacture. Buskers. Okay. Um, some amazing street food here. I think one of the most popular is the rib man who does uh, ribs, um, rib meat in rolls or in um, boxes and uh, his hot sauce is phenomenal. Makes everything taste better. That'll be in another video. Get here early. Do you want the rib man's uh, rib meat and hot sauce? He sells out fast. It's quite a relaxed market. Sundays. It's a nice day today as well. Pretty warm and sunny. That's the end of the, uh, the street food bit. We're getting more into uh, shops here. It's got, in recent years, um, a lot of brands have opened shops here. Uh, it's, uh, for a while, it was a super cool part of town, and uh, people coming here to take photos with the backdrop of Brick Lane and the street art. So, uh, a lot of brands are trying to get in on the action. Open shops here. Do 
there's a huge old brewery up here as well, the Truman Brewery, um, which is now, they use it for markets at weekends and event space. Um, hasn't brewed, uh, hasn't been brewing for a long time. So uh, yeah, the uh, space is used for all sorts of events and festivals now. It's a huge sprawling maze of buildings. But yeah, a lot of this was all um, brewery. drums in the uh, in the van. It's an easy way to move your drum kit around. Just open the doors and start playing. entrances to the Truman Brewery bit where the shops are. There's a Rough Trade Records and a coffee shop in there. You can actually cut through there to where we're going, uh, which comes out on the way to Liverpool Street Station. But I'll show you where the uh, the, uh, the Indian restaurant start the curries. Some buskers there about to uh, kick off. Coca-Cola in on the uh, Action, give it away free Coke Zero. Don't worry, I was here earlier. Got myself one of those. Part of the brewery building here, there's an uh, indoor market, some uh, fashion at the back of it, a lot of food at the front of it here. Um, it's good if the weather's not too great, I mean, let's face it, here in Britain, <laughs> we have our fair share of rainy days. But yeah, check it out. But yeah, the, uh, the Indian restaurants start here, this junction here. A lot of these are Indian and Asian restaurants, and in fact, the area was so dominated by uh, Bengali community. Street signs are in uh, Bengali. Check it out. Smell curry. It smells great. Um, I'll show you some of the major uh, pieces of street art down it. Mecca for photographers. restaurants up there um, it runs all the way to uh, if you head up there you come to Whitechapel um, Whitechapel tube I'm gonna head down here um, check out you can see the other entrance the indoor street food market what is this brewery? Oh, really? okay it's a great fish and chip shop down here uh, poppies and uh, show you where Spiltfields Market is as well, which is kind of, uh, it was originally a wholesale um, fruit and veg and flower market um, that moved and um, 
corporation in London got rid of a lot of markets um, a few decades ago and uh, now it's um, like luxury retail stores. Check out the, uh, the yard of the Truman Brewery. Yeah, if we'd have gone down that entrance I was showing you back obviously where those buskers were um, and cut through there's rough trade records which do good coffee and uh, come out here. Spillfields. There's poppies. Good fish and chips in there. That is the corner of Spillfields Market. There is a market inside, um, but then around the perimeter of it are um, loads of boutique, I guess mid to luxury stores. Um, it's quite a good wine bar there actually as well. Uh, but yeah, the market in the middle is the cleanest and most curated market in London, I think. Um, I'll show you. Yeah, this is Spillfields, real cool place to come uh, for food and drink and uh, a bit of shopping, um, all sorts in their fashion. But yeah, there's a great wine bar over there. Um, Vagabond wines, which I quite like. They have these pumps and uh, a dispensing machine so you just get a glass rather than a whole bottle so you can try a lot of different wines cool idea um, and all around the market to avoid the crowds Yeah, if you're in London, let's definitely come and uh, spend some time at Spillfields Market. Um, it's pretty much all sorts in there. Um, it's a retail destination now. Um, loads of uh, places to eat and drink, as well as all the shops and the market stalls. Yeah, just up here is Liverpool Street Station, which is probably the easiest way to uh, get to Spitalfield. You can walk through Spitalfield then on the way to uh, Brick Lane if you head into Brick Lane, or at the other end of Brick Lane, you can uh, go to Whitechapel, uh, Whitechapel Tube. But uh, I go up to Liverpool Street Station, it's quite cool just to walk through Spitalfield rather than walk around it like I'm doing now. So yeah, luxury watches, and uh, next to a barbers, you get your something to eat, something to drink, buy a watch, plenty of jewellery. Market still there, selling artwork, print. A lot more restaurants and bars all along here. There's, a, there's an open air space at the end here as well um, where they hold events. There's usually some music, live music being going on or uh, something at weekends. We'll go and see what's on there today. The 
good cake shop there as well. Conditor and Cook. Yeah, I can hear some music. There must be something at this event space here. Check it out. Tango Fever. They're uh, having dance lessons. Dance off tango. Okay guys, that's it pretty much for this stream. I'll show you uh, where the station is just around the corner in case you're planning a trip to either Brick Lane or um, Spitalfields Market there. Um, Spitalfields Market all day every day um, it's a great location brick lane um, different things on different days it's often quite there's often events in the Truman brewery um, so yeah um, pick your day wisely uh, for brick lane Sundays is the uh, prime day for uh, the street food market so uh, that's why I was there getting some lunch I recommend the rib man Definitely try some of his hot sauce, does it in flight size bottles as well if you're not from the UK, so you can take on a plane. Right, that. We're heading just there, which is one of the entrances to Liverpool Street Station. Liverpool Street Station's massive. I'll get on the central line to where I need to go as well. The central line is one of the lowest, I think, lowest tubes, smallest trains, it's the hottest. Um, they put new tube trains on some of the other lines with aircon. I should have done the central line first. It is, when it's hot, it's even hot down there. Center of town. Quite a way out east here, not quite a way, we're a bit <laughs> in the east end. Um, I'm going to get on a tube, so I hope you enjoyed this little um, walk down Brick Lane um, and walk around Spitalfields Market. Spitalfields Market is a uh, video all to itself, really. There's so much in there. Same thing we said of Brick Lane, to be honest. Um, I'll share a little behind the scenes of another video I'm making today. So, uh, yeah, until next time, toodles.